Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Malayala. I am getting a lot of messages, comments regarding by uh, how to utilize this uh, another 12 to 13 days of our JE preparation. As we know, our exam is going to be started from 28th of this month and 22, 25th is one one phase and from 27 to August 2nd is another phase. So regarding that, all those things, I have already made a video regarding form correction, payment issues, everything. You can go and watch that particular video regarding schedule forms and registration form and payment issues. So coming to this video, in this particular video, I am going to give a little bit motivation for all of you guys. So and also I will be giving you some strategies where you can excel in this particular 12 to 13 days so that you can crack JE and get into your dream NIT, IIT and IIIT. So without taking much time, let's get into the video. So let us take it is as a 12 days. Uh, it depends on the slot as well. So let us take a minimum 12 days is left for you. Last 12 days preparation tips. So first and foremost, remember your fantasies. So whenever you remember your fantasies, whenever you recall your fantasies, that will drag you to study for it, work for it. So that is why guys, first of all, close your eyes and remember what fantasies you want. So after cracking the JEE. So if at all you remember them and recall them, that will surely give you some motivation for studying and for some motivation for working for it. And so next comes stop the theory. So it is not the time to uh, go through the theory because now you have very less time. You should use it effectively where you can utilize short, mo short notes, handbooks and formula books and anything. So which you, like it should be short and crispy so that you can easily cover it in a very less time you have and you can excel easily. So that is what I'm saying. So now focus on the strengths. Don't pick the new things. So whenever a soldier is going to war, so he will sharpen his sword once again even though it is sharp why because he want to focus on his strength so he want to make it even more sharp that is what i'm saying so whatever you are good at focus on them don't try to learn new things in this particular time if you try to learn new things you will lose everything like whatever you have and whatever you are having now everything will be gone if you try to uh, learn new things so one suggestion if you are good at something just focus on it and improve it a lot so that any type of question any level of question if you get from that particular topic you should able to do so make sure that happens and now as i said earlier you should use this particular time effectively so whenever you want to use it effectively whenever you learn the topic which you don't know you will get demotivated so that is why i'm saying learn those topics in which you are good already so you should increase more efficiency in that particular topic and now comes to main important thing so i keep on saying this particular thing smart work or hard work everyone should do smart work rather than hard work so even though both hard works also hard working students also get success smart working students also get success but only change is here yes, smart whenever a student do smart work he will cover more concepts rather than hard work in a given stipulated time so after saying smart work and regarding these high frequency questions the next question you ask me is important chapters so no, don't worry guys like according to my analysis of february and march paper and i feel these chapters in mathematics will have high frequency of asking the questions so first try to complete these chapters and then try for other chapters okay and take a screenshot and next comes to physics so these chapters will take high weightage according to me and it is not such a way that i am not going to prepare the paper it is just an analysis you can use this particular chapter first try to cover each and every chapter mentioned in this particular screenshot then you can go with the other chapters and this is about physics you can take a screenshot so follow the pattern which i have shown here take a screenshot for this chemistry also and these chapters will possess high weightage when compared to other chapters so once you are done with these chapters you can proceed with the other chapters and don't start like chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 it will it will be like hectic so you will also study which are not required for the exam also so you should uh, study only those are relevant to the topic are relevant to the exam so that is what i am saying so it is up to you how, how you wanted to divide all these chapters for the next 12 to 13 days but you should cover first and foremost may give the priority to these chapters so this is of chemistry this is of physics and this is of mathematics yeah now coming to previous year questions so i think most of you from your preparation days onwards you are always solving previous year questions right so now what you have to do is you have to solve previous year questions so at least after completing a chapter you should at least try to solve 15 to 20 questions for sure and guys while try solving like if you have 10 questions in previous year questions it is not like it is nothing like you should solve all the 10 questions once again if you solved earlier so those questions you felt hard 
in earlier days while you are preparation while you are doing your preparation so pick those questions and solve them first okay so solve those questions which you didn't solve or which you felt hard to solve them so you will get uh, you will get that idea okay and now at least so i would suggest at least 2015 to 2021 so if possible you can solve from previous years also so that is a no issue and the coming to mock test so first and foremost i would suggest you guys is attempt full syllabus mock test if you try to attempt only or chapter wise mock test your mind will be adjusted in same way such a way that if you take five questions from uh, continuously in a uh, subject uh, like in a chapter wise mock test so same formula same concept same everything so your mind will be adjusted to that particular thing so don't let your mind adjust to chapter wise mock test that is why i'm asking try to attempt full syllabus mock test every alternate day for the next 13 to 14 days or 12 to 13 days because this particular mock test will really help you a lot and will keep your mind in the exam mode and guys try to write in the official slot timings 9 to 12 or 2 to 5 so that you are you will be addicted to that particular timings you should prepare your mind and body such a way that for that 3 hours you should work on it like you should only focus on the exam so that is what i'm saying you will get how to manage the time how to focus on the exam and you will also know wherever you are weak and wherever you are strong so with this particular mock test so everyone please 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 attend a mock test and i have given you the sources for the mock test also you can and utilize them so you will also get full syllabus mock test in those sources which i gave you earlier so please watch this particular video regarding the mock test sources and avoid negative people whenever you whenever they question your preparation whenever they question your uh, uh, marks or anything like that don't worry just forget about them just focus on your preparation when you try to focus on those things you will waste your time you will get demotivated ultimately you will score less marks in your exam so guys avoid negative people let it be parents or friends or anything anyone family or so neighbors or anyone so just forget about them and just focus on your preparation now next comes be focused cool and confident whenever you are cool and confident you will get a lot of ideas and you will also get solutions of the questions easily and you can you will surely get the striking points of the solutions whenever you are cool and confident and focus about your preparation and your goals so yeah now coming to be alert and energetic so i many people will ask me i am unable to sit for long hours and study when i am i like i am getting sleep for uh, just after studying for 1 hour or 30 minutes so guys for to overcome these problems so if you don't didn't do exercise or stretching for the last 15 to 20 years no issues for the next 20 10 to 12 days please try to implement stretching like try in your daily routine so like at least do 15 to 20 minutes of stretching or exercise it's up to you which will keep your body energetic and alert so which will be really helpful for your preparation you will not get any drowsy feeling during your preparation so that is one thing and avoid junk food so try to be cautious enough of what food you are taking so in this last 10 to 12 days don't so do, don't keep yourself into dangerous situation where you can't even attempt the exam or where you can't even prepare for the exam due to health issues so please avoid junk food just take healthy food this social networking will create more deviation like from your studies so please uh, leave this social networking for the next 12 to 13 days so after when you crack iit or nit or triple it so you will be having four years for using them so no issues with that so keep this thing in the mind now which attempt to focus uh, this thing also many students ask me regarding which attempt by which attempt we have to focus so that we will get good score so guys so i would say you have to focus for both attempts and guys only one thing is those who already got 95 plus or 97 plus so those who are trying for 98.5 plus 99 plus so first try to give your best in third attempt and so some people are like i am not good at uh, all the topics now so i should i need at least one week more time so in that case you can try to give your a little best in the third attempt and focus more on the fourth attempt so at the end what i would suggest you guys is let the situation come comes to you in a negative way so think it in a positive way what you can think of is so like je advance you will be having paper 1 and paper 2 so think this as a paper 1 and paper 2 i mean two if you are writing two items so uh, one is phase 3 item one is four, phase 4 item right think it as phase 3 is paper 1 phase 4 is four, paper 2 so if you are going to give best in two papers only you are going to get good nid or good id or good uh, triple id so think like that think in a positive way and uh, move on with the situation just be confident about yourself and stay focused 
So now many important thing many of you asking regarding drop or partial drop. So what is mean by drop? Taking a one year break and preparing yourself on second ready for the exam and giving your best shot in the next year. What is mean by partial drop? You are joining an inter engineering college for one year and you also parallelly preparing for JE mains or any other your desired exam. So and writing that exam if you get good uh, score and if you get good college of your desired branch or something like that you can go there taking the uh, TC from I mean you can cancel admission in that particular engineering college which you studied for one year and in this case if you don't score well also this one year it will not be wasted that is called partial drop and those who can so only one thing those who want to do partial drop or uh, drop year so only first think about yourself whether you can you are confident about yourself or not first and foremost quality a drop year student should have is confidence about himself so don't take drop year just by I am saying or I took it or some other took it got success or anyone anyone is forcing you to take just think about yourself whether you can work for that one year hardly or not if you are okay with everything so you can watch the video which I posted regarding who should drop so is taking a drop year worth please watch that video then decide on whether you should take drop year or not so so that's it guys I hope I have given all the points and uh, all the best for your exam and I know every one of you will surely rock the exam and chill then bye see you in the next one until then take care bye bye Jai Hind